little longer than a few minutes later. Welcome to the first episode of Engineering Gone Wild. Today I want to address what is globally recognized as one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the 21st century, and that is whether aliens are real. I'm just kidding guys. For all of you aspiring engineering students and professional engineers out there wondering whether you should learn SOLIDWORKS or CREO in 2021, well, you've come to the right place. Many of you have probably faced the harsh reality when applying to jobs that the one CAD software you're good at happens to be the one that employers don't give a shit about. Or even better, you think that the meaning of CAD is a man who behaves dishonorably towards women. Huh? Well today, we will take a look at the preferred CAD software of the top 20 engineering related companies on the Fortune 500 list based on their recent job postings. The Fortune 500 as the name implies, is essentially an annual list of the 500 richest U.S. corporations by total revenue. So you can expect to make a load of money working there. By the end of this video, you will gain clarity on whether SOLIDWORKS or CREO is right for you and gain unprecedented insights into the origins of our universe. Number one on the list is a $1.7 trillion company called Amazon. Now, because Amazon is the head honcho, let's look at two different job postings on their website. The first opening is for a spacecraft mechanisms senior mechanical engineer position based in Redmond, Washington. That's right, children. Amazon makes satellites as of today, and they are looking for someone who knows Siemens NX, <laughs> which is not SolidWorks or Creo. Amazon is trying really hard to make me look bad in front of you guys. Alright, on to the second job posting, which is for a robotics mechanical engineer 2 based in Westboro, Massachusetts. The preferred qualifications for this job is SOLIDWORKS. One house point will be rewarded to SOLIDWORKS. Sorry Creo. Following closely behind Amazon at number 2 is Apple. The first opening we will look at is this camera hardware mechanical design engineer located in their posh Cupertino headquarters. They are in search of someone who knows NX. Alright guys, I literally tell everyone to go learn NX and just end this video if I see another posting with this qualification. Let's look at another posting for kicks and giggles. This is a product design engineer job also based in Cupertino, California and requires a candidate with significant prior experience in Unigraphics and Pro Engineer. For those of you that don't know, Unigraphics is what used to be NX and Pro Engineer is the predecessor of Creo. Therefore, one point goes to Creo. Moving into the automotive industry and ranking at number 3 on the list is Ford. Now I looked at multiple positions on their website and had a hard time finding one that listed a specific CAD software except for this aerodynamics engineer opening. The preferred candidate only needs to be fluent in CATIA, SOLIDWORKS, and Pro Engineer, as well as hold a PhD degree. Whoever wrote this job description sure sounds a lot like the typical Asian parent. The point goes to both SOLIDWORKS and CREO. Ranking at number 4 is Ford's ultimate competitor, General Motors. For this design engineering job based in Warren, Michigan, GM desires an engineer with 5 years experience in Siemens NX. And that's it for today's video. <laughs> to be honest guys, I had no idea Siemens NX was so popular. I hate to break it to you SOLIDWORKS and CREO, but none of you get points for this one. I'm also starting to see a pattern with NX guys, but let's wait until the end to draw any conclusions here. Moving on to number 5 is General Electric. 
producer of anything and everything imaginable in the universe. Let's look at our senior engineer position for electrical and turbo machinery components in Niskayuna, New York. You will need to know NX, SOLIDWORKS, and CREO to land this job. GE and Ford would make a bomb Asian couple with all these requirements. Coming in at number 6 is a company that has been making the daily news headlines as of late and that company is Johnson & Johnson. They are in search of a senior mechanical engineer who will work on their to be released Monarch surgical robot and who is well versed in SOLIDWORKS. Next up on the list is a massive American defense contractor called Raytheon Technologies. They have 5 business segments so let's analyze one from each to get a sense of their preferred choice of CAD. When I first saw this page, something fell off and I finally realized what it was. An American defense contractor is using a picture of Shanghai, China on the front page of their job portal. Am I missing something here? I know for a fact this is Shanghai because I used to go there every summer, so I'm not totally sure what's going on here. Please leave a comment down below if you do. But I digress. For their Collins Aerospace segment, they are in search of a mechanical engineer intern in Melbourne, Florida, with the working knowledge of SOLIDWORKS as a minimum requirement and Siemens NX as icing on the cake. I really appreciate Raytheon for being so thorough in their job description. It really makes my life easier. Their second business segment is the jet engine master, Pratt & Whitney. Let's take a look at this position titled Materials Modeling Engineer located in East Hartford, Connecticut. The ideal candidate will be proficient in SOLIDWORKS. The third segment we'll look at is Raytheon Missiles and Defense. For this Senior Mechanical Engineer 1 position, based in Tucson, Arizona, Creo is the preferred CAS software of choice. Although Raytheon Technologies is a single company, each of its business segments use different CAD software, in their case SOLIDWORKS and Creo. This is something that you see a lot in large companies with multiple business segments. Next up in the runway queue is Boeing, the creator of all things in the sky. I'm willing to bet 50 cents that they don't use Creo or SOLIDWORKS. Let's see if I'm right. This position is for F-22 Senior Mechanical System Design Engineer in St. Louis, Missouri, who knows CATIA V5. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. CATIA has become a gold standard for Boeing, Airbus, NASA, and a lot of other big name companies in the aerospace industry with its intuitive role-based functionality as well as powerful surfacing and 3D rendering capabilities. Number 9 on the list is a company that everyone knows well, especially with the recent global chip shortage, Intel. This is a rather interesting one because Intel designs and manufactures its own chipsets. This position is for a mechanical engineer based in Hillsboro, Oregon, and requires at least 6 months experience in either SOLIDWORKS or CREO. Number 10 on the list, also known as the Big 10, is Facebook. Believe it or not, they do hire mechanical engineers for their Oculus and other virtual reality product lines, and they prefer candidates who have a knack in SOLIDWORKS or NX. Number 11 on the list is the number one leader in personal care products, Procter & Gamble. What we have here is a job opening for an R&D engineer modeling and simulation. Helpful assets to have for this position is basic CAD experience in CATIA or SOLIDWORKS. One point goes to SOLIDWORKS. Ranked at number 12 is another huge aerospace and defense company called Lockheed Martin. This mechanical systems design engineer position is based in Stratford, Connecticut. Unlike Raytheon who uses CREO and SOLIDWORKS, Katia is Lockheed Martin's go-to CAD software, which makes a lot of sense. Next up on the list is General Dynamics, a jack of all trades. They not only make Gulfstream aircrafts, but also nuclear submarines as well as combat systems. 
For this mechanical system senior engineer posting, they passively aggressively state that they prefer engineers who know SOLIDWORKS with their strategic use of parentheses. At number 14 is Northrop Grumman, famously known as the mad scientist who makes a wide spectrum of things from stealth bombers and satellites to cybersecurity solutions. For this senior principal mechanical design engineer position, they clearly state intermediate to advanced SOLIDWORKS as a basic qualification. Number 15 is a leading manufacturer of construction and mining equipment called Caterpillar. Fun fact of the day, the origin of Caterpillar's name was derived from the way one of their earliest products, which was a steam tractor for preparing crops, moved out in the fields. This invention eventually became one of their cornerstone products, the bulldozer. All right. Let's get down to business again. One of their current openings is for a senior design engineer located in Dayton, Ohio. Top candidates will be familiar with Creo. The next company is John Deere, which has a very similar product pipeline as Caterpillar. They also design and manufacture agricultural construction and forestry equipment. I had a hard time finding positions in the US that explicitly stated a specific CAD software as a job requirement, but I was able to track down this hydraulics design engineer position based in Nuevo Leon, Mexico that requires Creo. Caterpillar and John Deere should definitely consider going out on a Creo date. At number 17 is a multinational conglomerate corporation called 3M, who makes everything from post-it notes to animal care supplies. This principal mechanical engineer position based in Monroe, North Carolina, specifies SOLIDWORKS as their preferred CAS software of choice. On to number 18, a medical device and healthcare company called Abbott Laboratories, known for their cardiovascular, diabetes, and neuromodulation products. On their job posting for a senior mechanical engineer position, based in Silmer, California, both SOLIDWORKS and Creo experience are listed as requirements. At number 19 is another healthcare provider, Thermo Fisher Scientific. Let's take a look at this mechanical engineer position located in Santa Clara, California. Here you will be working on automation equipment that will impact the lives of those affected by viral infections. Hint, hint, COVID-19. All design work will be done in SOLIDWORKS. Number 20 is a company called Tesla, led by Dogecoin advocate and father of X Ash E12 Elon Musk. His son is for sure going to get a name change when he's legal. Alright, this is a position for a chassis mechanical design engineer based in Austin, Texas at their new Gigafactory and the ideal candidate will be proficient in Katia. One of my friends who works at Tesla told me that they also use SOLIDWORKS. So let's fact check him and take a look at this senior mechanical design engineer position also based in Austin, Texas. Lo and behold, it does require extensive experience with SOLIDWORKS. Alright, so what are the key takeaways from the top 20 engineering related companies on the Fortune 500 list? Well, it's simple. One, learn SOLIDWORKS to maximize your employability. And two, don't be a dumbass like me who learned Inventor and ended up in my parents' basement oh, straight no. out of college. Interestingly, the numbers indicate that SOLIDWORKS appears more times in employer job postings than Creo. However, like most things in life, it's never black and white. If you're a freshman in college, chances are you haven't even thought about job searching since your number one priority in life is making it to class alive. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but be sure to get good at both SOLIDWORKS and Creo early on to land those job internships. And for those of you who do have a dream employer in mind, well, you just wasted 15 minutes of your life watching me talk about nothing. All jokes aside, no matter who you are, I highly recommend getting certified in at least one CAD software. This shows employers that your resume is only 90% BS. Having been a broke student myself, I know how SOLIDWORKS and Creo will for sure break the bank. The good news is that both now offer student edition licenses at a way more affordable price. I've dropped the links down below, so be sure to check them out. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe, and uh, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite or least favorite CAD software. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.